News of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs' death is raising questions about the disease he battled for more than seven years. The technology titan died Wednesday after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. It kills nearly 40,000 people each year. News 14 Carolina's Adrian Flores spoke with a surgical oncologist about the disease. We're really proud of this. We want you to get your hands on it. One of the last times Steve Jobs stepped into the spotlight, he was noticeably thin. Some might say gaunt, even frail. We've reviewed the pathology. Signs Dr. Peter Turk, a surgical oncologist with Carolina Surgical Clinic, says the Apple co-founder and chairman may have been losing his seven-year battle with pancreatic cancer. Patients with cancer unfortunately lose weight because all the, the uh, food that you eat will go toward the cancer growing instead of you. And pancreatic cancer is particularly aggressive. In most cases, a tumor develops in the head of the organ, eventually growing onto nearby nerves and leaching into the bloodstream. But in rare cases, Turks's tumors develop on the outer part of the pancreas where insulin's made, what's called a neuroendocrine cancer. And although no, no official cause of death has been released, Turk believes all the indications are pancreatic cancer. This is a time frame where it was four years after diagnosis, he had the liver transplant, and then passed away three years later. It is a continuation of the disease. While other types of cancer can be treated with a combination of surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, in the case of pancreatic cancer, surgery is really the only effective treatment, something called a Whipple procedure. Where we take out most of the pancreas, part of the stomach and small bowel and the bile duct and then we put all the connections back together. And even that's no guarantee because pancreatic cancer is often found late. Turk says despite advances in modern medicine, there's only a 3% survival rate. We still have yet to find the silver bullet that will really cure it. Even when we take it out, a majority of patients have it come back. As it appears in the case of Steve Jobs, the only obstacle that proved too big for even the 56-year-old technology giant to beat. In Charlotte, Adrian Flores, News 14 in Carolina. Dr. Turk said some of the warning signs of pancreatic cancer are jaundice, yellowing of the eyes, and dark urine. He said eating a healthy diet and remaining active can help patients live longer with the disease.